Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about quishing or QR code phishing schemes. Quality, or I shouldn't say quality, it's quick response codes. That's what QR stands for. Quick response codes have been around forever and they are used in a variety of methods in order for people to get important information on their smartphones or to get people to visit a website. But unfortunately, cyber criminals are now using QR codes in order to get your important information. And it's not only a uh, problem here in the US, it's a global problem with people suffering attacks from QR codes. So let's talk about what is quishing and what you can do in order to stay safe. Now, with every video, I always ask, I can pull this up, to be sure to comment, like, or subscribe if you like tech tips just like this video here. Now let's get that graphic off and get back to our video. So quishing is the act of, it's basically QR code phishing, that means Cyber criminals are using QR codes in order to get you to visit malicious websites or to install malware onto your device. Like I always say, cybercrime is a human problem. That means that if you're going to get your device attacked, then it you would have to click on something or verbally or give out your information via the keyboard in order for criminals to get access to your devices. And if you've noticed all of the cyber attacks in recent years, a large majority of those attacks have been criminals getting people to quick click, we'll say quick, click on phishing links or any type of link that's gonna lead you to a malicious site. So what quishing is, is the act of cyber criminals going around and sending out QR codes in a variety of ways. Sometimes they will go to public places and put a malicious QR code sticker over a legit QR code. Think if you're going to a restaurant and you want to scan the QR code to either make a payment or to find out what the menu is. Also, criminals are, well, there's other ways that criminals are, are getting you to click on QR codes and it's just not public places with restaurants, maybe a parking meter pay. Uh, criminals will also send you a QR code via um, social media. So if you're using instant messenger in your social media, then you may get a QR code offering something nice and fun and juicy <laughs> to get you to click on the QR code. Now, one of the more nefarious ways that criminals will get you to click on a QR code is to actually send you out a package. So if you get an unknown package in the mail, then it's, and if it's got a QR code on it asking you to scan on it, don't do it. Because again, with criminals wanting you to click on all sorts of scams, it's very easy for them, or very easy for you to just use your smartphone uh, to click a QR code in order to infect your device. So another scam, we talked about mail and packaging. Um, we, we didn't talk about phishing email. So that's another way um, that criminals can get act after your QR code information. So how do you stay safe? So as far as protecting yourself from QR codes, what, some of the following things that you need to do are, well, number one, be careful with QR codes you scan on your devices. So now if you know that a QR code is legitimate, then you can scan it. And one of the best examples of that would be a QR code for social media. Now there really isn't a way to um, duplicate a social media QR code. So for example, Everyone except Facebook has a QR code that you can scan in order to get contact information. So to keep yourself safe, 
make sure that the QR code that you're scanning for social media is coming from within the app rather than someone just showing you their phone and their QR code. Now I know there are many of you out there that have the QR code business card where you can just whip out your QR code on your smartphone and get people to scan that information. Now although that's safe, you have to look at it from the perspective of the other person thinking, well do I really want to scan this QR code um, to get this person information? And then also, do I want that person's contacts intermixed with my contacts? Sometimes when you use QR codes in that matter or manner, then you're basically being invasive as far as what people, what information people want on their smart devices. So in social interactions, make sure that you're make, verifying that the QR code is coming from a legitimate source. Same thing if you're out and about. If you're out and about and you see a QR code, find out if there's a, sometimes there will be an actual URL or website that you can visit in order to get the information that you want rather than it just being some unknown QR code that you see out in the wild and you click on it or scan it in to see what's there. Because the problem is that many of us have a, a fear of missing out, FOMO. So don't fall for that. Other things that you can do in order to avoid quishing scams is any weird text messages or email messages that come in with QR codes, just avoid them, you know, just avoid them. Don't click on it and don't suffer from FOMO because that's how many of us fall for some of these quishing scams. Um, other things that you can do as far as quishing scams are concerned and making sure that you aren't scanning malicious QR codes is when you're, I think most restaurants don't even use QR codes anymore. So get the menu. Don't scan the QR code. Now, let's say you <laughs> scan the QR code. What are you going to do? So one of the things that you need to be leery of if you scan the QR code and maybe gave out your personal information, understand that your personal information may be in the hand of cyber criminals, or I should say in the hands of cyber criminals. Um, and be careful when you, if there's any QR code that ask for information. Number one, most QR codes are just sharing information, maybe a link to a website, maybe information or more information about a product or service. But if it's asking for personal information, don't do it in the first place. But if you do, then you need to be aware that you may start to see an increase in spam messages and of course, junk email that may come in your inbox. Now, if you're in the public and you scan a QR code and something funky happens with your phone, report the incident wherever you were and scan the QR code. Let the people that own the establishment or if it's like a city that has a QR code for parking, report it to the authorities and uh, make sure that they know that there are malicious QR codes out there. Also, believe it or not, you want to preserve that evidence so you can actually take a picture of a QR code and store it on your phone. So if you have to report it to law enforcement, you can ensure that you are reporting the incident and help preventing others from falling for malicious QR code scams such as quishing. Now keep in mind that cyber criminals are going to continue to come up with new and inventive ways in order to get your personal information. So my advice when it comes to your devices is to make sure, and I shouldn't say lock down, but make sure you're careful what you're scanning, make sure that you're not sharing personal information out there, and always make sure that your information isn't falling on the dark web. So there you have it. So if you have comments or questions about Quishing please leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you to find out what things I can help you do stay safe from these QR code scams. So with every video, my goal is to make sure that you're staying safe from all of the cyber threats out there and making sure that you can use your technology effectively and efficiently in your home or business. 
I love technology and I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.